buying a home, it's likely the most money you will ever spend at one time. Make sure you have a real estate team you can trust on your side, helping you every step of the way. Welcome back to the Dan Jemis Real Estate Show with one of the most trusted realtors in Windsor, Essex, Dan Jemis. Okay, yes, welcome back with you till one o'clock today uh, and every Saturday and Sunday from noon to one here on AM 800. Uh, Heather and Martin studio today, and uh, we've got our special guest now, Monica Bundy, home stager extraordinaire with the Dan Gemma's team. Hey, Mona, how are you? Hey, Dan, good. How are you guys? We're fantastic, thank you. Now, awesome. Mona, you may or may not have heard uh, the beginning of the show or the show yesterday, but the important question of the day is: toilet paper over or under? <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, I'll, okay, I used to do it one way, but now I do it another way. So You're I, kidding. Used it, <laughs> I used to do it where it laid against the wall, but then with nail polish, I was noticing that when you grab it, and I use a lot of dark nail polish, I would have marks on the wall, and so now I do over. So I had to wow. switch. Wow! Interesting. An interesting it, reason to switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I was marking up the wall with my dark, like nail polish. And you know, when you grab it, you just like hit the wall. And now I'm an over girl. <laughs> First real problems, right? Yeah. First real problems. Oh, hilarious. <laughs> Too funny. Uh, okay, so listen, today we're talking about some staging mistakes and what not to do. Now, I can't imagine Monica Bundy makes mistakes, so it would be all of us that would be making oh. mistakes. Oh, no. It's what mistakes are we making? <laughs> it's not really mistakes. It's more of what not to do. So I usually tell you about all the things that, you know, we must do to stage the home, but there are sure. some things that either we shouldn't forget about or, or not do. And so when thinking about staging, um, not, not thinking about um, how your home will photograph is, is super important. Um, yes. So in olden days, your first uh, impression was like doing a drive-by or going to an open house, but now everything is online. And so perfect photographs are so important. That becomes your new first impression of the home. And Dan, I know you've got a great team that does amazing photos and um, they see all of these things through through the lens. So, um, you know, I, I've seen photos where there's a laundry basket on the bed. And I'm like, oh, my yes. gosh, does that person not know uh, their home is going up for sale? <laughs> or I've seen, like, the bathroom counter full of, like, uh, makeup or um, tooth toothbrushes, cleaning supplies. And those are, that is, that is now essentially your first impression. So just make sure that you're thinking about your home when it's being photographed. Um, another thing, uh, so don't arrange furniture on an angle. Um, you may, you may think that it makes the room look larger, but it doesn't. So resist that urge. Um, I like to stage everything, uh, where everything is square to either the fireplace or the, the walls. Um, just don't put them on an angle. Don't put furniture on an angle because now you have to fill that void space either behind it or, um, you know, in front of it. So it, creates odd angles. So that's something don't do. Um, another don't is skipping area rugs. Um, a lot of homes right now are um, open concept and they're, they're hard to delineate between say a living room and the dining room and the kitchen. So area rugs, don't forget the area rug is, is what I'm saying. Area rugs um, define the space. So that an area rug in your living room and a dining room that will define those two spaces and create almost separate rooms without the walls. Um, another thing is hanging, um, I, I don't hang out of proportion artwork. I see this so many times. Oh. You have this huge, huge wall, right? Like you have a huge wall and there's, there's like, you know, two small prints on the wall and it's like, <laughs> mm -hmm. ah, it just doesn't, it just doesn't look right. So if you have a huge wall, use big artwork. Don't be afraid. <laughs> don't be afraid. <laughs> You That's know, a great point. That. Yeah, it's it is. You, you see that often. You see just a tiny piece, and it, it looks odd. It doesn't showcase yep. the, the space properly. Right. And you may say, oh, it's going to make the, lo the, the, the wall look bigger. But no, put a huge piece of artwork on there or group artwork. So if you do have like five, five smaller pieces of artwork, group them all together, your eye will make that look like um, one large piece of artwork. So that's super important. Um, another thing is don't decorate with too many little things. Um, too many little tchotchkes or just little, little um, pieces of, um, you, you know, if you, um, like on your, on your uh, say for instance on the coffee table, two large vases with flowers in them will make a better impression than a bunch of 
small little things. So in what you just said before the commercial break, Dan, less is more you you yes. declutter everything get rid of everything <laughs> and Mona's with me a, there <laughs> i'm gonna box it up that later. he's right dan's right <laughs> it um, happens all the time Mona. i'm used to it don't worry <laughs> i'm not sure about that nikki's not um, here i can say it yeah right so you can say it um but it's so true just a couple larger items um to decorate make such a more impact than um a bunch of small items um, and scrimping on lighting, um, I see this too, if the home is too dark. Um, homes need to be bright and airy. So if you have an area of, of your home um, that, you know, is too dark, add floor lamps, add cable lamps. So don't scrimp on your lighting. It's super, super important. Um, the last one that I have here um, is important too. Um, so not thinking about your potential buyer. So usually I say, uh, you know what, stage for the masses, make sure everybody loves it. But there are times when you do need to consider the buyer. And that is, say, a downtown condo versus a home in the suburbs. Those are two different buyers that you're looking for. Like a family of, you know, five is not going into, say, maybe a downtown condo, but they want, you know, um, a home in the suburbs. So you're, you would decorate those just slightly different. You know, your condo might have be more hip or cool or elements of glass and steel, like we bring, you know, bring in some um, di- different types of materials just to, to fit, fit that buyer. And in a home, your home in the, in the suburbs might be more cozy or warm. And so you stage those two differently. So think about, um, think about your buyer. Um, too. And, and sometimes it's not just, you know, staging for the masses, but yet, you know, just make subtle tweaks that just are, you know, for the buyer that you're looking for. So those are just a few things of, you know, this year we'll start the new year of what not to do instead of what to do. <laughs> yes. So. You know, you had, you just gave me a funny idea, Mona, for your next yeah. topic. I would love if you could find some old staging trends, like back from the 70s and 80s, and let's oh like God. compare them to today and oh, see what... Oh, that would be fun. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? I put on my next, um, my next list trends for 2023. So how about I go back to, t- to 1970, see what there this you go. said, and then the next month after we'll, we'll be up to date in 2023. I love it. I, I think it'd be a fun, a fun way to kind of... Retro that home staging tips. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh. goodness. Hey, what's uh, what else archive. is happening? What's happening over at uh, the um, Windsor Symphony Orchestra? You guys are up to lots of crazy stuff in 2023. Oh, crazy stuff and crazy stuff in the month of February. Um, February is, you know, Black History Month, and we are all over Windsor and Essex County with, with our programming. So, actually, um, we've got two concerts coming up literally next week, uh, Thursday and Friday. There are onstage ca- concerts. They happen right on stage um, at the Capitol Theater, and we'll be performing um, some music from uh, composer um, Joseph Bologna, and he was a 18th century composer. He was a fencer. Um, it's going to be amazing. Our very own Lillian Shirek, she's our concert master. She's going to be doing a violin concerto, which which will be so amazing. And then we have also music from um, rising star composer Jesse Montgomery, and she has a- amazing music that she puts out. Um, we're also gonna, going to be um, at the Amherst Freedom Me- Museum next Friday, and um, then Sandwich First Baptist Church on this Saturday, I believe it is. All the information is at windsorsymphony.com. But, man, there is some good stuff happening. Um, we've got this uh, gal named Flo, and I can't pronounce her last name, but she is an um, amazing uh, singer, and she'll be singing um, Oscar Peterson's um, Hymn to Freedom. And that's going to be out in Amherstburg and Sandwich. And that is going to be, oh, my gosh, Mm. so amazing. So there is tons of good stuff coming up. And then there's another family concert coming up on, um, what is it, the 18th. And it's Bobby Orr and the Hand Me Down Skate. So I know you'll be there for that one, Dan. And that one's going to be a really, uh, really great one. Bobby Orr wrote a book with um, uh, local author Kara Kutstra, and we put music to it. Um, so we're going to, going to be performing music to the Bobby Orr and the Hand Me Down Skates book. We so. loved it. Mona, we but, were at uh, Peter and the Wolf. Obviously, we oh. saw you there. The kids loved it. Yeah, um, oh, good. And, yes, and they're still talking about the um, the Christmas concert where uh, oh. Reg, was he Reggie Smith? Reggie Smith um, Jr. Oh, my gosh. Performed, and they're still yeah. the kids are still talking about it really? today. Yes. Yeah, he's, a, he's a, an amazing uh, baritone, and he sounds, he does a lot more than just the Grinch, but he sounded exactly like the Grinch. It was exactly so like him. Oh, yeah. 
was yeah, great. we've got some great um, guest artists coming up this this for the second half of this season. It's just going to be amazing. So check it all out at, at uh, windsorsymphony.com. Fantastic. Well, listen, yeah. thanks for joining us as always, Mona. We'll talk to you next month. Okay, my pleasure. Thanks, guys. Thank you. That's Monica Bundy, home stage here for the Dan Gemma's team. And obviously she works for the Winter Symphony Orchestra as well and does a great job there. <laughs> Multitasking. Multitasking. And uh, yeah, we, we love uh, having her on the show and lots of great tips. So I'm excited now for the trends of 1970 yeah. <laughs> uh, for next month. It'll be, uh, I think it'd be fun to hear what they were back yeah. then, right? But uh, there you go. Okay, we're going to take a break. We're going to come back and give away our gift card for the Richmond Popcorn Company. Uh, if you haven't already entered, make sure you text... Uh, 10 800 with the keyword today movie with your first and last name and you know we love to support locals so we are going to come back with our uh, featured business of the week we started this this, uh, this year actually every Sunday at this time we feature a local locally run a locally operated uh, business in Windsor Essex County my favorite uh, seg- segment of all on the show here so we'll come back and talk with our friend Shane Bedell from Bedell's Plaster and Drywall lots more to come right here on the Dan Gemma's Real Estate Show